The next property that we're going to learn about for a flex item, remember the container, items, the next property we're learning about for a flex item is the flex grow property. And here are two pictures on the CSS Tricks website, which, you know, represent how flex grow works. So in this first example here, each of these items are given a flex grow of one. And so as that container grows, right, this will grow in one, it will get up one third of the space. Generally speaking, that will get one third of the space and then I'll get one third of the space, right? Here in this example, as this container grows, right, each individual examples, there's four here. This has flex grow one, flex grow two, flex grow one. So this will get one fourth of the space. This will get two fourths or one half of the space and this will get one fourth of the space, right? And so I have a couple of examples here. If you look at our code, in the code 031 flex box, 02 items, 03 flex grow. The first example here, three divs. They're inside a flex container. Body is a flex container. So each of these are flex items. And for two of them, they have flex grow one. For one of them, flex grow two. So it's just like this example right here, right? And that's how you'd write the code. And as you grow this, the middle one grows a whole, whole hell of a lot quicker <laughs> than the, the outer ones. So that's flex grow. And, uh, and so we could come to the next example, right? And here we have three divs and they all have flex grow of one. Let me just refresh the page. And so as I grow this, they all grow in proportion to each other. Pretty cool. We could come to the next example and we have five divs, four of them with flex one, flex grow one, one of them with flex grow two. So this will get one fifth, one fifth, two fifths, one fifth, one fifth. And when we look at that, that's kind of what's happening there. You know, it's kind of interesting to see like right there, all looking pretty equal. And then they start growing and the proportion, the relationship they grow in in relation to each other is two fifths, one fifth, one fifth, one fifth, one fifth. And then the last one here is just to kind of experiment with it. We have the one, two, one example again, and we have flex flow row wrap, right? But what happens if we drop a width onto like flex grow two and that width says take up a hundred percent. And that's pretty interesting. And so without that, this is what it looks like. But as soon as I put on that width of a hundred percent, Kapow, flex two took up 100%. That means flex one grew to fill in all of its space. And then two is taken up 100%. So there's no room for this one up here on the same line with two. And after flex two is taken up 100%, there's no room for the third one here on the same line with flex two. So these guys each get kicked to their own line and then they just grow. They grow <laughs> and they fill in. And so this idea of setting content that you want on one row and saying wrap and everything you want on one row, making that add up to 100%. We're going to see that idea when we go and we look at the Google design patterns for Flexbox. And so that's going to come back. I'm going to turn this off right here. But that's, of course, a great way to learn about code. Experiment with it. Ask yourself questions. What would happen? What if? What if? What if I put in width? What if the width's pixels? What if it's 100%? and just see what happens and see how all this stuff works. And uh, so that's flex grow. It just makes the items grow. And I think uh, <laughs> the flex items grow. And I think we saw that. Let me just close these, close these, close these. I think we saw that right at the very beginning when we were looking at this example right here. All right, pretty cool. And the CSS on that was flex grow one. So every single one of these divs, let me just split that vertically, right? Is told, hey, grow. And, uh, and we're doing row wrap, flex direction, row wrap, flex container. And then everything else, we've given them a width, a height, margin, interesting, right? And so there's flex grow with a width. And uh, when we do this page, you know, you could see some interesting things happen. Like those two just got kicked to the next line. I'm just wondering, there we go, that's cool. And so it's just kind of interesting how they grow, right? And what would happen if like flex grow was underneath? Does order matter? Like width came first and then flex grow. Let me just refresh that page. 
Order does not matter. But that was a question that I had <laughs> when I was uh, somewhere somewhere in my memory. I had some notion that order maybe mattered, but right there it doesn't. All right. That is Flex Grow.